So let's just have a quick look at some of the um, mechanisms that exist for cells to develop to develop resistance to um, drug therapy and have a look at a couple of um, successful drugs. So tumors often develop a resistance to what was initially an effective therapy. And this has been confounding for um, drug design because initially the drug was effective and then suddenly the cell responds and becomes resistant. Okay. So um, cancer cells are continually generating new alleles, new mutations, and a novel genetic configuration. So they're, they're evolving. And we've discussed this idea of multi-hits evolving over time, and that continues within the cancer during treatment. So often after the, um, the cancer has been treated, it, there may be cells around there that have picked up additional mutations and that they've, they've again um, grown and taken on this phenotype that is the cancer phenotype. And it, it's clear that the tumors that evolve in the second time are variants of the initial tumor cells that were there. Okay, so they've got the, the same characteristics plus additional ones that have evolved since the tr drug treatment. Here's at least one mechanism of um, cells developing resistance is through what's called multi-drug resistance. So, um, and it has to do with cell transporters. Um, so, drug therapy is often foiled by um, by a cancer which develops a strategy for evading toxicity. So, the um, w the most well characterized one is this multi-drug resistance, and um, effectively, this arises through high-level expression of a protein which functions as a transmembrane pump. So it's a pump that is able to pump the drug out of the cell. So the drug gets in, it starts to fight the tumor, it's effective, but at some point the tumor develops, it overexpresses, picks up a mutation that overexpresses a, um, a protein that's a drug efflux, efflux pump, and then it's able to pump the protein out of the cell. So again, it's a normal protein which is effective at pumping the drug out of the cell. And therefore, despite high levels of drug treatment, there are low levels of drug in the actual cells. So this is just showing the 3D structure of one of these um, pumps. And regardless of the normal function of this pump in normal cell biology, one of the um, things this pump is able to do, it's able to pump out this foreign compound, which is the drug, and it pumps it back out of the cell. So what we're looking at here is the cell membrane. That's the extracellular space. This is the membrane. This is inside the cell. This is the cytoplasm. So the drug's got in, and then it's pumped back out again. So just to finish off on a slightly more upbeat um, bent, then um, the epidermal growth factor receptor, which is one of our tyrosine kinase receptors, um, it's a promising target for um, drug design. So there are, there are at least six distinct epidermal growth factor related ligands, and um, these have been found to be effective at binding to the epidermal growth factor receptor. Okay, so. Um, Iressa and, and Tavisol bind in a very similar region to um, of the epidermal growth factor, tyrosine kinase. Remember the receptor is a tyrosine kinase, so it's a long phrase, but it's the epidermal growth factor receptor, tyrosine kinase, which is the protein in the plasma membrane. And um, so we've looked at these proteins as leading down to RAS activation and then down to the MAP kinase pathway as a you know, we have a tyrosine kinase receptor driving the pathway, but an example of a tyrosine kinase would be the epidermal growth factor receptor. Okay, so these drugs target this receptor, and we've looked at these receptors last week, and 
these, these can be very effective for a wide type, variety of tumours. And this is just a little diagram showing, again, we know the 3D structure of the tyrosine kinase domain, and this is just showing the, the drug in the cleft, in the catalytic cleft, so that the receptor and the kinase domain of the receptor that's in the, um, the, the tails of the receptor that jut out into the cytoplasm, these tyrosine kinase domains are knocked out.